Hello friends, welcome to automation community. In the previous video, we have discussed about latching. In this video, I am going to show you an example where we will use set coils. So, we will look at the example first. Example 7. If switch 1 is on, then LED 1 and LED 2 will be on. If switch 1 is off, then LED 1 and LED 2 will be still on. If switch 2 is on, then LED 3 and LED 4 will be on. If switch 2 is off, then LED 3 and LED 4 will be on. So in this example, we will be using set coils instead of normal coils. Then only when switch 1 is on, the outputs will be on and then when switch 2 is off then the outputs will be still on. So let's move to eco structure machine expert where we will draw a ladder logic for this example. We will open eco structure machine expert. We will keep read protection as inactive and write protection as inactive. We can also set password for these types of protections and then click on apply. Then we will go to configuration where we will select a logic controller. Here is a list of different logic controllers. I will be using TM221C24R. I will click on it and drag it to here. Do you want to replace? You may lose some features and associated configuration. I will click on yes. Then I can go to serial line and set protocol as Modbus ASCII TMS2 GDP or Modbus serial line serial IO scanner. I will select it as TMS2 GDP and then click on apply. Then I will go to programming tab. So here we will be drawing ladder logic for this example. I will click on a full screen mode here and zoom into it. Then I will insert a normally open contact and two set coils. Now I need to connect this coil. I will draw a line like this. Then I will assign address to the contact as well as to the coils. Firstly, I will assign address to the contact as I 0, 0.0. Then I will add symbol as switch 1. Yes. Then I will assign address to the coil as Q 0, 0.0 and then Q. 0.1. Now I will add symbol to these set coils as LED 1. Yes. And then LED 2. Yes. So we will exit full screen mode and compile the program. Then I will go to commissioning and launch simulator. And then I will start controller. To do so, click OK. So, as you can see, when I turn on switch 1, LED 1 and LED 2 will be on and then when I turn off switch 1, LED 1 and LED 2 will be still on. Then we will go to commissioning and stop simulator. Then we go to programming tab 
and click on full screen mode and zoom into it like this. Then we will add a new rung here and insert one normally open contact and two set coils. I will add, I will connect the coil like this. Then I will assign address to the contact as I 0 0.1, sorry, 1 and add symbol as switch 2. Yes. And then I will assign address to the coils as Q 0 0.2, then Q 0 0.3. I will add symbol to these coils as LED3, yes, and then LED4, yes. So, so for if switch 1 is on, then LED1 and LED2 will be on. If switch 1 is off, then LED1 and LED2 will be still on. And then, if we turn on switch 2, LED 3 and LED 4 will be on and then if we turn off switch 2, then LED 3 and LED 4 will still remain on. So we will exit full screen mode here and then compile the program. And then we will go to commissioning and launch simulator. And then we will start controller. To do so, click OK. So here, as you can see, when I turn on switch 1, the current will flow through it and LED 1 and LED 2 will be on. But when I turn off switch 1, as we have used here, set coils. On turning off the input that is switch 1, the outputs LED 1, LED 2 will be still on. And then when I turn on switch 2, LED 3 and LED 4 will be on. And then when I turn off switch 2, as we have used set coils, on turning off switch 2, LED 3 and LED 4 still remain on. So in the next video, we will see this same example and implement a ladder logic using different method. There we will be using memory bits and logic. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.